maybe was. Um, but the first time she came, she came from quite far, which was interesting. She came, but she wasn't charging. She was just coming over very fast. That was the first thing. So uh, I knew Herman was already moving back. And what I wanted to do is just make her stop somewhere where she's comfortable in the open there. And, and, and the noise I made, I don't know how much of it you could see, but I was basically just lifting my hands up, making myself look bigger. If I had big ears like an elephant, I would open my ears. But I used my hands for that. And, and I just made a nice, clear sound. You know, elephants have got incredible hearing. What's that zebra jumping around about? Suddenly seem to be a bit nervous there. Yeah. And, um, and they were communicating. She was communicating by coming closer and, and, and the sounds she was making. And I just did the same back. I made a nice, loud, clear, I'm not even sure what, probably, hey, that's normally something that I, you know, it's just a nice, bass, clear sound that she can clearly hear. And, uh, and it tells, tells her I'm responding to her. And, and then I had a quick look at Herman and I saw that he was actually quite fine. Uh, very well done on Herman as well. He's out there. It's, uh, gladly walk with him again. He stayed very calm and collected through it all, which is, which is ultimately important. Um, and then the second time she came again, um, the rest of the herd were following, so, which, which in a way was, was, was almost more comforting for me because it showed that they were comfortable enough to all come closer. The babies were coming along. They weren't like staying back and she was going nuts on us. Um, and I just threw a stick in front of her. I don't know if, if you guys could see that, but it's just to, you know, elephants throw sticks at things sometimes to show them, you know, like just because they can. And, uh, and all that did is just I threw a stick right at her feet and, and, and she, she stopped. You know, not that the stick's going to stop her, but it's just, again, it's just a communication that, that you're saying, well, you know, I'm, I'm not messing with you, but at the same time, I'm, I'm also here, so, so let's just understand each other. And, and then she stopped and she stood there until the rest of the herd joined her. She made <coughs> Yeah, she did. I, I think so. She trumpeted a little bit. There was no crazy sounds. I don't know. You guys could probably at the time, uh, I don't know how to explain it. Is uh, you super aware of everything, but I didn't, you know, there was no major noise that I heard and thought, shush, that's a noise that I don't want to hear. It was all, it was all noises that, that were fine. So same as I made a noise, but uh, I, I can't remember exactly what the, what the sound was. Um, but before I talk too much, which is already too late because I've done that again, is... Um, the most important thing I want to mention is that it was <laughs> great. <laughs> Thank you. We're going to look at a few of those. Oh, beautiful, huh? Zebra's drinking is always stunning. But um, I think what was important is that really we weren't, there was no major danger. We weren't taking silly chances or making these elephants, uh, you know, super nervous anyway it was it was an interaction it was they learning more about us and we learning more about them and um you know whether we walk we learn we chat we go and game drive whatever we do it's all part of just learning more about what's in our nature and some questions graham do you want to say something please I'll help you out. uh yeah just uh I'm, I, I see that no one's uploaded any video yet of 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 um of that um incident um but it would be kind of cool i'm looking forward to having a look at that because i can't really remember much of it i, I just sort of I remember an elephant, and I, and I, don't you want to turn the volume down? I think it's a little bit high there, Em. Thanks, baby. Um, but, um, yeah, it was, uh, I, th I think she did trumpet, if I remember correctly. Oh, look at that little cute little tiny foal, eh? Isn't that sweet, eh? Now, that's the kind of animal I like, see? It's just relaxed, and, you know, if it comes running at you, you want to run towards it and play with it, and, yeah, exactly. You know, not these big elephants bearing down upon us. <laughs> um, okay, let's see. Um, what have we got? What have we got? Uh, quite a few things asking about Herman is. Uh, Herman has got the biggest smile on his face that I've seen in a long time, and he smiles a lot. Okay, here's Peter. <laughs> no, 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 no. A <laughs> uh, couple of people saying they did hear a couple of loud trumpets, um, some major noises. Um, I'm trying to keep up with the chat here. It's nice to see people are chatting away quite a bit. Uh, yeah, Graham is quite funny. Uh, there was a whole lot of trumpeting going on. Um, asking about Herman's viewpoint. Yeah, where is Herman actually? Herman. I think Herman should come so I would save me as well because I'm just going to keep talking. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. Come there you go. Just don't clip your fingers in it. Well, guys, here's Herman. He was behind the camera. Him and Emily have got almost matching t-shirts, just in different colors today. And, um, yeah, I mean, is there, there's quite a few things that have come through saying they're very happy you're safe. And uh, what was your viewpoint? Share your feelings. Cool. Thank you very much. I'm also very happy I'm safe. <laughs> no, I never thought it was really uh, life-threatening at all. 
um, yeah, it was a great experience. It was uh, definitely a new experience to me. But uh, yeah, I, I basically trusted you, dude, <laughs> all the way through, and yeah, and so it was. Yeah, it really wasn't that. I think it looked a lot worse on if you couldn't see the, everything that's going on around it on the camera. Then maybe it was actually in real life. Yeah. Still a bit alive. Yeah, for sure. Eh? Adrenaline pumping a bit, <laughs> but that's good. Yeah. Well, um, like I said, I'm, I'm, uh, I don't want to talk too much, so <laughs> not to repeat myself too many times. Um, let me just see a couple more of these questions. Good camera work, Herman. Yeah, I have to say the same again. And <laughs> Sue's just asking if I told him to say that. Uh, I told him to say that, and I won't tell you what I said I'll do to him if he didn't say that. <laughs> No, guys, I'm just kidding. Like, like I said, and this is maybe important. Let's just quickly talk about that. Is that um, obviously Herman and I had quite a few discussions about being on foot before the walk as well. Typically, if I was doing a walk with guests, which which I've done many, many hours of, I, I did a lot of guided walks in in in, in Pilansburg especially. You give a whole briefing beforehand. So before the walk, you tell people that you know stay behind me. Uh, you know, listen if I say something. Look at hand signals. Uh, if I tell you to do that, please please listen. If there's an animal running down, stand still un un unless I give you different instructions. All those things you explain. Obviously, Herman and I discussed that quite a bit. We've also walked around a little bit on, on, on foot before but it was again just in that situation and, and I just want to say it again it was it was not the ideal first walk experience but in the end it was the perfect first walk experience as well because that that's about as, as hairy as it's ever going to get you know it, it's never going to get more than that that was a you know we could have done a hundred walks and not and not had something like that so um, it was very nice to see Herman reacting exactly like that when I said we've got to move back. Actually, just before that female started coming, uh, he moved back nice and calm. Uh, he still managed the camera fine through it. And um, Herman, so yeah, just from my side as well, uh, the, the trust thing, as with everything with Wild Earth and being live, is very important, in, including with, with how we communicate with you guys, as, as I've said often. But on foot, it's very important. And, and you were fine, more than fine. You were, you were nice and calm when you reacted to what I asked you, and, and you made sure that, that uh, you and, and everyone there with us could see. And, and seeing is very important, especially when you've got to make sure where you're going to put your feet next. Um, yeah, I'm, I feel like I'm rambling about something that, that we don't need to talk about too much more. It was fantastic. We're going to do more walks. Sometimes we're going to see nothing apart from just bush and trees and grass. And other times we might see a zebra and other times we might see elephants again. Uh, and, and it'll all be just part of being a human being out in nature and looking around, which is sort of what we do, I think. No, I was also very impressed, Herman. It was great. I mean, I, I'm glad I wasn't there. <laughs> but uh, I'm quite impressed the way you handled it. I was in um, doing a course, a game ranging course, when I first came to Africa in 2001. And we all went on a bushwalk. There was a group of us. And we were taught on this course, you must never, ever, ever, ever run. Ever. If an animal bears down on you, you must stand your ground and make noise and wave your arms around. And um, an elephant charged us on foot. And I, rem I remember distinctly the feeling of... Uh, uh, your blood goes from the bottom of your legs. You go into shock or something, and your legs turn to jelly. It's the most bizarre feeling. Anyway, we all dutifully stood our ground, and the tracker ran off. <laughs> and he said, I don't care, I've got a family, and just ran off. I couldn't believe it. I was like, well, we were taught you're not supposed to run. Well, it was quite a funny incident, but I remember being quite scared. <laughs> I say it's not what you want to see at that time. It's the guy that's supposed to tell you what to, what to do running. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Unless you're faster. No, but, but the standing still, and a whole bunch of things just came to mind again. A couple of questions about what would have happened if we saw a leopard. Um, oof, leopard's very, very different. We talked about it briefly around the fireside chat. Sorry, it's actually just strange. I, I look there, which is where the screen is, instead of just over there where you are. Um, that, that leopard and lion both typically are much more afraid of, of things on foot, so they tend to um, they tend to sometimes run away much quicker, or they'll growl at you. It's a very different thing. Also, you're not dealing with an intelligent animal, so you would never. The experience is. I don't even know how to explain. There's so many things that we'll talk about as they happen along the line, um, but your interaction with elephants is vastly different from any of the other animals. You're talking about a very intelligent animal. An animal that typically is not afraid of investigating anything because they're the biggest thing around. And, and, and that's a big part of what we have to consider. You have to you behave very differently with different animals and, and different terrain and so on. Um, so a leopard most likely will just either disappear, you won't see it, or if you do see it, uh, it'll be at a bit of a distance.